he feels like a motorcycle. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. This one is a really awesome bike. Hope you really like this one. I'm gonna go over what bike this is, what components I used, and yeah, just kind of go over what makes this bike freaking sweet. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I do e-bike conversions professionally. I've been doing that since 2017, and I'm super interested in all things electric vehicles especially small ones. So if you're into stuff like that and just sustainability and all that jazz, check out my other videos. All right, so let's get right into it. So this is a Da Vinci downhill bike. This is super high end. I don't even know where to begin on this. It's it's just a sick bike. This is a motocross bike. It's got a RockShox, Boxer, front fork. It's got a Fox DHX RC2 in the rear. It's got aluminum frame, uh, carbon fiber, rear swing arm it's got super wide hand grips this thing just rides like a dream it just floats you take this through the grass and it just floats avid hydraulic brakes and these are pretty wide tires they're 26 by two and a half so they give a lot of good grip all right now for the good parts for the juicy parts juicy parts you guys may notice this doesn't look like my normal motors i put on this is the cyclone 3000 watt motor this thing is powerful i love this motor this thing is just it's it's like a gas powered motor it puts out 3000 watts um but it actually puts out slightly over it's like on a fully charged battery it's like 3300 watts twice as powerful as the bbs hd at peak and about three times as powerful as the bbs 02 motor at peak um, you can see we got the controller up here. It's Bluetooth capable, so you can control how the motor performs from your smartphone, which is really nice because for a long time, these Cyclone motors are just unruly. And with these types of controllers, they're really starting to refine this motor and it's starting to get usable, which I really like because there's so much potential with this motor. It's just super torquey. There's been lots of times where I've been in first, second, third gear. And if you're not careful, that front wheel just pops up it's like oh crap oh yeah i forgot this isn't a buffang so we got it attached you can see i i this is the motor the battery cable it's going to go into a backpack cable there just really wasn't any good place to mount the battery here i was going to mount it underneath here but because this front fork compresses so much the clearance wasn't there so we just put it in a backpack and it's just gonna be backpack wearable. Um, it's gonna be a 72 volt battery, 14 amp hour battery. So it's about a thousand watt hours. So it's gonna be decent range on this bike too. Should be, I mean, if you're riding it hard, it'll be 20, 30 miles. But if you're using it as a commuter, which I don't know why you would, cause it's not street legal. You, you could get like 60, 70 miles out of it. Back to that not being street legal. This is just for off-road use. So you gotta make sure you have a place that you could ride it where you're not gonna interfere with things. Think of this as just like a 200cc dirt bike that doesn't have license plates on it. It's the same thing, except I could easily lift this up, throw it in the back of my pickup truck and go. I don't need two guys. I don't need a special trailer or anything for this thing. And this thing is, I'm telling you, so much fun. <laughs> Some things to be careful with with the Cyclone though, this thing puts out so much power. So it's got a single speed chain ring up here that drives from the motor to this chain ring. But then from here, it's a standard nine speed chain. So you're putting all that power on a nine speed chain. I always recommend, like I told this, this customer, just keep an extra chain on you. Chains are fairly cheap, but with this motor, you're probably gonna go through a decent amount of them. It's got a keyed ignition up front here, which is nice. Got little keys, so it feels like you know you're onto something. This is not a buffang. This is not a toy. This is when you need a key to start it. Damn, and it's totally quiet. Except the motor when it's running, the motor does sound like it's got a cool sound to it, but it's still quiet. It's quiet, but it's at least like if you were sneaking up on somebody, they could probably hear you coming. But other than that, you're not like like making a bunch of noise. It's an interesting sound. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test. All right, hope you guys like this video. I love this bike. This is the Cyclones. I love building Cyclones. They're a lot harder because there's a lot more things to go wrong and you got to dial it in a lot harder. So this is definitely not an easy install, but I love them. The end result is just crazy. It's just so much, so much better. So yeah, definitely if you're thinking about doing a Cyclone install, it's not for the faint of heart, but 
<laughs> if you have patience and you're not in a time constraint, go for it. And hopefully you know a decent amount about bicycles. All right, thanks for nerding out with me, guys. I don't think it was lifting the wheel. I think it's just the No, shock. it was. I saw your really? front tire was getting up and down. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just the shock that was kind Let's of see. But yeah. You're in one, two, three, fourth gear, and you were popping. You were getting that front tire That's up. That's what I was wondering. What if I change gear 